Now I'm going to start now and sort of build up a, a sort of a basic spread. And I'm going to start by adding some some text. So let me sort of zoom in a little bit here. Um, the first thing I want to do is add a title uh, to this page. So with the text frame tool, which is this one here on the left hand side, um, I'm going to sort of draw my text frame box out. Now this is going to be a heading. So uh, one thing that I think is pretty useful to get into the swing of uh, generally uh, when using uh, Affinity Publisher is to use text styles. Uh, we'll, we'll cover this in a bit more detail later, but uh, to get started, what I'm going to do, because this is a heading, I'm going to choose the text style of heading one in this case. And then I'm going to type in what I want this to say. So, and you thought our apps were fast. Um, now, at the moment, of course, you can probably only barely see that text because it's uh, because um, it's uh, black. Um, so there's a couple of things that I want to do. I actually want to make that text the same colour as this bar down the bottom. So I'm going to use the colour picker for that. And along the top here, you can see on the context toolbar, you've got all the kind of basic, um, basic uh, sort of text options uh, that you're going to want. So um, for example, I, I've got uh, my justification options here. I'm going to left align this text. Um, I don't want this text bold actually. Um, I can change my font, so I'm, I'm actually going to use Optima um, for this. And of course, I can change my font size here. So um, I'll actually make that 30 points, I think. Now, to get to any more advanced options with, uh, with, uh, with, with text, um, you can go to your character uh, panel, which is on the right-hand side here. So I'm going to go to character. And there's loads of different options that you can kind of work through here. But in fact, in this case, I want to choose uh, this to be all caps. So that's my heading. Uh, now let's uh, add some body copy here too. So I'm going to get another text frame out. And again, it snaps to my guides. I'm going to drag that um, there. Now to save me typing this out, I've actually got a little text file here of uh, some copy that's already been written. So I copy that and then paste that into my text frame. Uh, now in this case, I actually want to make this uh, from the textiles at the top, I actually want to make this body copy. But again, it's black, so I need to sort of adjust that. I'm going to make it more of a, a lighter gray kind of color. Again, I'm going to go and choose Optima as my font. Um, and I'll make that a bit bigger. Also at the top here, you've kind of got um, this option to, to adjust paragraph leading. So I might make that more like 18, um, 18 points. So um, that's just kind of a very quick way to get started with adding some text onto your document.